Okay, everybody, wait a second. Smile. Okay. Great. Oh, wait, we got one more. One more for good luck. Hang on. Don't move because we're going to do a pan shot here. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, everybody, and uh, welcome to our grand opening today. Um, the beautiful day, and uh, we we're just talking with Tom over here, and he he brought the weather for us. So we'd like to thank you for that. Um, so everybody, we'll go. Want to know? 469 days ago, at this site, we broke ground right over here. I think over that spot, right over there. And now, those 469 days later, we have our overseas TDC headquarters here. Behind you over there, we have our Green Tech Global headquarters worldwide. And of course here as well too, we've got, can you guys hear me back there? Yeah. No? All right, we'll do it with the microphone. Yeah. Okay, and back over here as well, we also have the headquarters for Greenfield Industries. So we thank you for coming out. Remember the day, September 18th, 2015. Today, we have some very distinguished guests with us today from our community, from the local level, the state, and the national level, as well as we'll be hearing from some of our TDC leadership team. Um, following this, we'll go to the ribbon cutting ceremony and take a couple of pictures. And we also have a, another grand opening that happened in Pickens County back in October of a restaurant, Rick Evans. And uh, since they had a grand open, we, opening, we decided to bring them in and cater our food for us today, so we hope you enjoy the lunch as well afterwards. But right now, before we all really get started and everything else, um, Governor Nikki, Nikki Haley, who's been a great support for us here, um, has given us a video, and we'd like to show you this video one time. She also sent us a congratulatory letter to welcome everybody and uh, honor us for the thing. So let's go ahead and uh, roll the video on that, and you can see Governor Haley here. Hi, this is Nikki Haley, Governor of South Carolina, and it is a great day in South Carolina when we can celebrate Greenfield Industries TDC's headquarters in Seneca. What a great day this is to have such a good quality company that not only cares about the product and the quality that is given to their customers, but truly cares about the employees that do the work. We could not be more excited to have you in our state. I now work for you. And our job of me and everybody in this community is to make sure you're successful. South Carolina is better today having Greenfield Industries in the state. We look forward to working with you. We look forward to partnering with you. And we look forward to celebrating with you in the future. God bless. God bless. Okay, I'm not going to bore you all here with long speeches today. We have plenty of other people that have good things to say. So what I would like to do, I'd like to start locally here. Um, you know, where would we be without support of our local community here? We have Oconee County and Seneca have been a great help for us. They've been great partners. They've helped us mitigate a lot of issues we've had during the construction process, helping us work together with the Department of Transportation and clearing out things we needed to do there. Um, we've had that help from the mayor's office and the council. Thank you for that. The support of the Economic Alliance, great help working together with Oconee County School District, the Hamilton Career Center, working together as well with our fire and police departments who have kept us safe, the Oconee Chamber of Commerce, and of course, the great people of the upstate. So representing Oconee County today is the Honorable Councilman Paul Kane. Uh, we had a discussion last night, and Paul wanted to do an hour-long speech. Um, after that discussion, we decided, you know, he, we negotiated. He said he'd keep it down to about 55 minutes. So, um, Councilman. Thank you all very much for having me today. I'm very excited to represent Oconee County and welcome to, uh, TDC and Greenfield and all of you, the representatives of these organizations here today. I'd like to start by reading um, a branding message that Oconee County has recently uh, put into place. And if you'll just bear with me, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be 55 minutes. I think it'll be about 45. Um, 
Oconee County, there is history in these hills. The deep blue haze of the mountain's escarpment whispers hints of an eclectic past. The pines tell tales, and the waters of raging rivers, quiet streams, and peaceful mountain lakes add their voices to the story of the place the Cherokee called Oconee, land beside the water. There is something spiritual about this land where far forests were once hunting grounds, fields were once battlegrounds, and waterways were once valleys. The waters of mountain lakes now sit as protector of the places beneath. Some who dare to go deep below the surface will see glimpses of this history. Others are drawn to the mountain paths dotted with waterfalls, caves, and the flora of a faraway rainforest. Years of history have shaped this once native landscape. People of Native American, German, Scots-Irish, English, African-American, and Hispanic descent have added unique ingredients to this cultural melting pot. They were drawn here by the allure of the mountains. These same mountains call out today to those who are eager to experience the mystery of Oconee, land beside the water. You are now a part of our history and our future. In placing your beautiful overseas headquarters here in Oconee County, you have chosen a place with quality of life, quality education, and most importantly, quality people. Oconee County, in working with the school district of Oconee and Tri-County Technical College, is establishing a Tri-County Tech campus here in Oconee County, which will house a career center for high school students, facilities for adult education, and the Oconee Economic Alliance offices. Greenfield Industries has already partnered with the school district of Oconee and Tri-County Tech in the Apprenticeship Carolina program, which has four excuse me, five local high school students and two tech students working in Greenfield, learning the skills that can best be taught on the job. Tri-County Technical College has the highest student success rate of any college in the South Carolina Technical College system and will continue to provide highly trained and capable people for your operations. Clemson University, just across the bridge, is one of the top 20 public research universities in the United States and is a leader in manufacturing innovation. As TDC Cutting Tools, Greenfield Industries, and Green Tech Global Recycling continue to grow and expand globally, Oconee County will continue to innovate to make sure that your business has the tools to help you succeed. Thank you, Mr. Chi, your leadership team, and your employees for choosing Oconee County. We know that there were many options across the globe to place your headquarters for global business outside of China, and we know that you have chosen the best. We are so grateful that you believe in Oconee County. Thank you for your investment of over $8 million with this expansion, on top of $15 million since 2009. Thank you for creating nearly 40 new jobs in Oconee County, on top of over 350 jobs existing on this campus. Thank you for bringing manufacturing jobs back to Oconee County. With your investment, drill bits, taps, dies, and carbide end mills made in Oconee County, South Carolina, are being shipped and sold all over the United States and then being returned again to Oconee County for recycling. Thank you for investing in our community and in our people. We look forward to celebrating your future successes and we congratulate you in placing a beautiful campus here in Oconee County. Welcome to Oconee County, the land beside the water and the geography of opportunity. Thank you very much for that, Paul. Um, you're, you're Ability to keep time is not correct. That was a little shorter, but, but, but we thank you for that, too. Great speech. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and of, course, of course, with the county, we also have the town of Seneca. And now I'd like to go ahead and welcome, welcome our own great mayor, Mayor Dan Alexander. Good morning. Good morning. Well, isn't it a beautiful day here in Seneca, um, Oconee County? I would just like to um, 
thank everyone uh, for the opportunity for me to be able to be here this morning and to be a part of this, um, this grand opening and the celebration of a new facility um, here in Oconee County. This is a special day. Um, when, I, when I took the tour this morning, I saw many people that I, that I knew inside the facility and I see them working and their lives and their families benefit from this job here. And it, that means everything. And I just want to say to uh, Mr. Chi, thank you so much to you and your leadership team um, for what y'all do here in this community, what you're, how you're changing the way that we look at things. I think about the recycling. Um, you know, it's the, it's the future of this country, preserving it. So you're taking a leading role in that. And I just, again, I want to thank all the leadership team for your leadership and, and making things happen. Um, you know, and I know Paul touched on this too. One thing that I've noticed about Greenfield and what you do, you reach out in this community. You touch not only your employees' lives, but you're touching the young people in this lives by the Carolina Apprenticeship Program that you're doing. And that, that means everything because you're helping train them and you take a very viable part in that. Um, also, I want to say thank you to, um, I actually work for South Carolina Vocational Rehabilitation and y'all have partnered with us to be able to outsource some of your work uh, where we actually do some of the packaging for, for the products that are going to the, the Home Depot store. So we're very grateful for that. Um, again, to the, to the leadership team, thank y'all. Um, the campus is absolutely gorgeous. It's so inviting. Uh, it's a great place to come and to, to enjoy, you know, this beautiful day that we have today. Um, one night I was actually coming back from Anderson, and it must have been when the, the sign just got put up on the, the building. And when I, when I drove by, everything was lit, and it was lit in green that said Greenfield Industries. And I was just thinking, you know, how fortunate we are to have you here. You could have gone anywhere in the, in the world to open up your headquarters, but you chose here. And I appreciate that because, again, I know that you open the door for many people to be able to have a quality of life that we all want to be able to enjoy. I also want to thank the, um, the county government and the state and local government and the economic development team for the, the hard work that they've done to, to work with you. So on behalf of the city of Sanka, we are so proud that you're here and glad that we could be a part of this, um, this great day. Um, Mr. Chin, I, I would also like to uh, present to you, I know I was talking to your wife last night and she was talking about how much she loves Sonica and how much she's enjoying Sonica and that, that really meant a lot to me and, um, and I hope your whole family uh, continues to enjoy this area. But I actually have a, a plaque that I would like to give to you and it just, it's the key to the city, to Sonica. So um, it's presented to Greenfield Industry in recognition of establishing a headquarters in the city of Sonica, South Carolina. And this is presented by me and the city council. And again, we can't say how much we appreciate what you've done and the opportunity you've given so many people here. And I just also want to say I hope that your business continues to prosper and grow and this great opportunity continues to come your way. But again, thank you all so much for allowing me to be a part of today's ceremony. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. Uh, as, as, he had, as the mayor had mentioned, um, and we'd mentioned a lot of the program, you've been hearing a lot about our apprentice program. We established a program um, certified by the Department of Labor for apprenticeship here in South Carolina. We work in conjunction with Apprenticeship Carolina, Tri-County Tech, Oconee County Schools, and the Hamilton Career Center. And some of you be asking, why, why would we want to do this? 
Why, why do you want to hire a bunch of 16-year-old kids to come out here and work in your factory? Well, there's a lot of good reasons for it. We have a gap, not only here, but in the U.S., with skilled labor. And it's, it's incredible. You hear it in all the factories, all the companies around. We don't have enough good people to fill all the positions coming in. Um, that's here as well, the similar situation. We've got a lot of good people, but most of these guys, if you look at the average age of our workforce here in this company, is 48 years old. And there's a lot of knowledge with the guys that are here now, and they're leaving. In five to ten years, they're going to retire and find something else, go maybe play golf like Ty likes to do or... You know, things like that. And what we need to do, and it's a great idea, we, I've had this from my travels and working in other places, um, especially you see it in Germany, um, Etta, you can tell us, like from Germany, from Austria, a lot of the different places, they have, it's a standard practice to have an apprenticeship program where you have kids coming in from 15 to 16 year old and start working and learning a trade. And so what we've done, we started the program um, it's in the spirit of our company, it's in the spirit of good pra business practice, and it's in the spirit of South Carolina. And so for this program, we started up, we have seven people here, and get to them in just a second. But first, I'd like to thank for Apprenticeship uh, Carolina, Carla Whitlock. Carla, could you stand up? <laughs> Carla helps coordinate the program for us. And then from... Oconee County School District, uh, Dr. Mike Thorsland, and Mike Pearson from the Hamilton Career Center. <laughs> These guys make sure we get really good quality people here from the high school level and get trained, and I thank you. We've got a really good group that you brought us. I thank you for that. Um, as well, from our in internal team as well, too, we've got, uh, oh, and Tri-County Tech. Where's, uh, where's Ronnie Booth, Dr. Ronnie Booth? Hey, there you are, Ronnie. Ronnie. Ronnie takes care of the other part of our apprentice program here by training our post-high school graduates. We have two sections. One is the youth apprentice program, which deals with people 11th and 12th grade. We give them an opportunity to work out, out in the factory and learn some of the trade. And then we have the ones at the technical college going to get mechan mechatronics degrees or working machinists. And we have, have, have a finance person here as well. So. Getting, of course, then to the next, we have our training team, um, Bobby Densmore, Susan Miller, uh, all the mentors, and supervisor was worked with them. Could you please stand up? <laughs> and of course, not to forget, we have our apprentices, so you guys. <laughs> yeah. And include, oh, oh, please keep standing. Can't sit down yet. And not only include, for apprentices, we've also got in there as well, too. And I think, Mark, yeah, Mark, you can't stand up yet. You're not an apprentice. <laughs> All right. Then we have in our other group, we have as well, we have the trainees and, of course, our interns that we have here today. So please stand up as well. That's the next step in the process of getting good people in the company. We were in Washington last week for the Apprenticeship USA uh, meeting, and one of the things we're doing, we're one of the hundred sponsors from the U.S. for the Apprenticeship Program. Um, you guys can sit. It's good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and we met, um, we had some meetings as well. Um, Vice President Joe Biden showed up for that. We had a couple of senators, and um, one you might remember, um, he's probably even more famous than his senator career from Saturday Night Live, um, Al Franken. Um, he was also there, and we met with Al Franken, and uh, he gave us a, a nice little letter thanking us and saying, congratulations, TDC, Greenfield, and Green Tech for the expansion of your facility and the establishment of the T TDC Overseas Headquarters in Seneca, South Carolina. Wishing you much, much success with the grand opening and the Greenfield Apprentice Program. Congrats, Al Franken. So now that I've made, made you stand long enough, you about ready? Okay. South Carolina, we've got to get to the state level now. We just covered the Fed and the local. So on the South Carolina side, 
South Carolina makes our business work. The governor, when she wrote to us and thanked us, she called South Carolina the it state. The it state referring to what we do with manufacturing. This is the state where people are coming now for manufacturing, and South Carolina has done a great job promoting that for us. We've got the legislature, the governor's office, the Department of Commerce, making it a very business-friendly environment. We have the fair taxes. It's a good right-to-work state. And we've got great cooperation here in, in, this, in the state. So it's a great honor of having State Senator Tom Alexander here to represent uh, South Carolina today. And I'll give the floor to you. Good morning. Now I know why you were making those pictures. What a great looking crowd this is to look out among this crowd today as we celebrate a significant event in Oconee County. I'm delighted to be joined by my colleague, Representative Bill Sandifer, and certainly another member of the delegation, Representative uh, Bill Whitmire as well. You know, as I looked across, and uh, it was mentioned earlier about the success of this expansion. I would follow the progress over these last 469 days, I believe it was, from the day that we broke ground, I would see that progress as I passed by this road. Uh, but then today to have the ability to come in here and to look and see this beautiful campus, the environment that has been created for a opportunity for success collaboration among your team members it has a wonderful wonderful feel on this beautiful soon to be fall still summer day and and i will correct I, i'll give credit to the good lord for the beauty of this day today um, that we're all getting to enjoy but as you were just me mentioning your apprenticeships i was standing over there and looking and thinking about the crossroads that we're in here and what it represents. As I walked in over here, I saw that you have seats assigned for retirees. And then you have your workforce that is making the products today and then with the apprenticeship for the future. As has been mentioned earlier, we are delighted to have the overseas headquarters located here in Oconee County, and we thank you for choosing Oconee County. But at the same time, I understand that that choice would not, and, and it's great that we have partners at the local, county, and the state level. And we look forward to continuing to be your partners. But let there be no mistake about it that it had not been for the workforce and the citizens that are providing quality product for many years, this day would not be happening here in Oconee County. And I thank you for your work ethic and your work and your commitment to quality products that make all of us here in Oconee County extremely proud. And that I know because of your efforts and those that will come after us, the future is bright for our community. It is indeed about partnerships, as I heard about the one with the boat rehab, and as I toured the facility over here, I think it also shows an investment in the employees and the well-being of the team that you have assembled here. I love the displays of the history of your beginnings in China to the success that you've seen over the years in the display room over here uh, in your new headquarters, but also to have it equipped with a facility for weight training and exercise speaks to is not only about the work environment, but it's the environment of a healthy workforce. And so we want to join with you as partners from that standpoint too, that is the state level, we want to make sure that we are continued to be partners with y'all, not roadblocks to your success but partners with you because we understand that in today's global economy that you're competing globally and we need to make sure that the environment 
and we commit to you that the business climate environment in South Carolina will still continue to be strong in the future to make sure that you have the ability to compete and be successful. You've been a tremendous partner in the past as not only providing jobs, but in many things in this community, and we're grateful for that. We want to make sure that that workforce is ready for the future for your continued success, and just know that we stand with you in that regard to be of assistance any way that we can, because we understand that as you succeed, we as a community and as a state of South Carolina will succeed as well. And we wish you all the best and it's a great day for us to celebrate such a wonderful event right here in a community that we call home and, and has been mentioned throughout the partnership with the local K through 12, the technical colleges and with Clemson just over the hill. What a great day it is to live in Oconee County, South Carolina. God bless and much success in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Senator, and thanks for making this a great environment to work in, and we're very happy to be in South Carolina. Next up, um, I'd, I'd like to introduce the guy. We kind of call him the granddaddy of Greenfield. <laughs> now, if, if you look over there to the right, maybe you can see out there, there's some oak trees they planted back in 1961, and I think, Ty, you started working about then. <laughs> Pretty close. Pretty close, okay. Yeah. Um, I think my wife, she would say for this, he would be called, the German word would be the Kleberstoff der Familie. No, no, you're good, you're good, yeah. You're, you're, you're the glue of Greenfield, as she would say, keeping everybody together and uh, keeping everybody working well together. So, you know, I'd like to go, if maybe you could give us a few words, I'd like to introduce to you Ty Taylor. He's the president of Greenfield Industries. Good morning, everybody. Um, thank you all for coming. Um, Nikki Haley said it right. It's a great day. It's a great day to be here. It's a great day to be part of this event. It's a great day to be a Greenfield employee. Uh, I uh, want to take a few minutes just to share with you my thoughts and where we are as, as a business and where we've, where we've come from. Um, but I want to thank Jeff first, uh, because without Jeff's vision and his thoughts about where we are and where we're going, we wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't be able to, to be doing what we're doing today. So Jeff, thank you very much. I appreciate all you do for our business. Thank you. You know, uh, Tom and Paul and Dan, you guys did a great job. I think you, you know, I, I wrote out a multiple page speech and I think you guys hit every topic I had. Um, but uh, thank you, because I think you guys hit the hot spots for me. And, and you know, the grandfather that's here is, is really Mr. Don Bradley. And I just would like to thank Don for being here today and all the things that he did for us as a business. He impacted a couple of folks here, and Bobby and myself, and his knowledge and experience here. So uh, thank you, Don, for coming. And thank for the retirees for being here. You know, uh, as Anthony said, we started this, this, this mission uh, 400 and some odd days ago. He's in finance. He remembers numbers better than me. So a, a while back, we started this. And, and I can remember years ago thinking about something like this, but never really being able to see it or dream it. So it's nice to see that, that, that come true. It's nice to see that happen for us. Um, you know, the, the idea of where we're going we don't know yet. Every day for us is a new day. Every day for us is a new opportunity. This building and what we've built here is just a start of the next step that we'll take. The manufacturing team next will be changing where they are located at and how we free up more space to add more equipment, more things to our business. We have almost $2 million of equipment that's on the water coming to us to give us more opportunities to build more things and do more things for our customers and for our for our employees. So it is a great day. Uh, but this is just a step along the way. 
Sometimes you have these events and you look at these events as being a crowning moment. This isn't a crowning moment. This is just the next step in a day in the life of TDC, a day in the life of Greenfield Industries. If you were to visit any other TDC facility anywhere around the world and come back a month, two months, six months later, I promise you it will be different. It will be better. The things we are doing from a capability standpoint, the things that we are doing for employees is a part of what we do, is a part of what our life is. And I really appreciate everything that everybody's doing here at Greenfield to help us with that. So thank you. And instead of me saying everything here that's and what I think, I thought it would be nice for you guys to hear a few comments from a few employees. So if you guys could, could roll that for us, I'd appreciate it. So I came here first to visit um, Greenfield when some of the new buildings and some of the new additions and, and expenditures were, were being started. And, and so that was really excited. So, so we kept the dialogue open until a position was open. And, um, so it's really exciting. In the past, I've been with some electronic companies that uh, had a difficult time sustaining and turning a profit in the U.S. So to come somewhere where they're investing this type of money, um, to come somewhere that's that you can be proud of too, that are that are A to B. We 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 make and and ore and mine the steel, and now we're recycling it. So it's it's nice on a personal level that I think I can be here for a long time, and then it's nice something you can be proud of that it's an A to Z a company. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Okay, uh, since TDCs took over, uh, the atmosphere in our building has been very good. Our employees are more happy. They, uh, they learned to run a lot of different tools, uh, different machines, uh, the end mills, the taps, uh, the S&D blanks. Uh, a lot of our guys has really enjoyed running this type of tool and learned a lot down here. I think uh, TDC Investments have improved our facilities since I've been here. I've worked here 11 years and uh, our facilities look very good. As far as what it was in the past, uh, as far as globally, uh, bringing China, Canada, Brazil, making our market worldwide, I think is a very good investment for a company. I think it's a good thing, all the new machines, the expansion, all the job opportunities for the area, uh, it's a good place to work for. Uh, just overall, building on, bringing in new machines, uh, I mean, the whole plant as a whole has improved since I've been here. The investment of our TDC overseas headquarters presents an atmosphere of professionalism for our employees. So, Tom, you said it. It's about the people. And TDC looks at people and family as being critical to our success. And I think what you just saw is a great example of that. So uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, the team back in the back. This was kind of a last minute thing I did. I apologize, Anthony and Dan, for pulling that on you guys. But I really think it spoke to what we are and who we are as a company. So again, thank you. Thank you, Jeff. And uh, get ready, because this is not the end. This is just a stop along the way. Thanks, Ty, for that. You're the granddaddy, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So this next one was kind of difficult for me. Um, Ty and I sat for hours in his office pondering what we were going to say for this to introduce our next speaker. And uh, we really didn't know what we should say. There's so much we could say. Um, he's done a lot for us. We call him the godfather of TDC. <laughs> And we discussed back and forth, and finally we had to, uh, we called Hollywood on this one. Um, Kevin Costner was able to uh, make a few comments, or at least help us out with this. So uh, what we'll go ahead to introduce uh, our next, next person. I'll just go ahead and say, roll the clip.
When you believe the impossible, the incredible comes true. Field of Dreams. Gentlemen, please welcome Jeff G. Oh, that's it now. Thank you, everybody. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your coming. It is a beautiful day. And my feeling is beautiful as well. Let's celebrate together for TDC Overseas Headquarters and the Green Tech Grand Opening. 20 years ago, I put all my $500 establish a named TDC company to try to make my cutting tool dream come true. Fortunately, after my 20 years hard working, I have had a great TDC team and a success story in the cutting tool world. Going with such a great team, I'm making many dreams coming true. Nowadays, we have more than 4,000 aggressive TDC employees. They are making cutting tools worldwide. And all of them enjoying the life, enjoying work in this TDC family. I'm proud of them. And nowadays, we have become the biggest high-speed steel cutting tools company in the world. We are, running, we are running a 2 million square feet building complex in China. And now we have all celebrating the Greenfield campus grand opening in Sanica. We call TDC Group a Sun Never Set company. Since we have TDC employees working in South America, North America, South Africa, Europe, and China. If some TDC employee going to buy, it, then we should have TDC employee going to work. So for TDC employees, the sun never set. And because of the great team of TDC, the success story will never be set all the way. I would like to see all the success stories of TDC comes because of our hardworking team and the many kind of support from the local government and the customers. Let me say thanks for all of you from my heart. I'm lucky to have you. Thanks God to have you for me and take me here, the lovely Akoni County. We, try, we will try all our best to contribute to the lovely county and we will keep investing. By the way, at such a beautiful day, being a good cooker, I'm sorry that I cannot supply a good food because I have to speak here. <laughs> but for next ceremony, I will quit speaking and I will go cook. I promise you will have good meal next ceremony. <laughs> I'll talk too much. Thank you very much again for your coming. Best wishes for your family. Thank you. Jeff, on behalf of our overseas family, our Greenfield Group, Green Tech Associates, thanks for making that $500 investment 21 years ago. And uh, we hope you continue to keep investing. And also not to forget, we're looking forward to that next meal. He cooks really well, by the way. Excellent food. Um, before we go to ribbon cutting, uh, we have to thank a few extra people in here today for helping making the building possible. Um, Richard and Russell from Oconee, could you guys stand up? 
They, they helped grease the skids to make sure everything was working just fine here in the county. Thank you for that. Um, Tammy from uh, Ginmo. Tammy, could you stand up? There you, go. there you are. Hey, Tammy. Thanks for everything, Tammy, as well as um, we'll get Jim while we're here, too, from Bank of America, New Market Tax Credits. Jim? Where's Jim? There's Jim. Okay. They helped us put together, because of the investment here, we were able to work with some incentives, um, putting the company here in place. Because this, the, the economically distressed as part of this area is uh, defined, um, for the investment here, they were also able to help us finance the building as well, so thank you for that. Um, not to forget the rest of the Bank of America team who financed the rest of the loan. Sherry and the gang, please stand up. And of course, when we were designing the building, these guys kind of kept us straight a little bit and they said we were crazy and sometimes we, we worked everything out, but our architects from LS3P and from Hogan, our builder. Thanks, guys. And of course, for the design team, we've got Bonnie, Dan, Ty, Charles, Eric. If you guys are in here, if you can stand up. And there was a lot of uh, long, interesting discussions about whether the wall should be a dark blue or a light blue, and, but we, we solved everything. And last, of course, last but not least for making the building possible was uh, the owner of our company, Jeff. So, Jeff, thanks for doing that for us. Yeah. Ty also mentioned um, that I'm a numbers guy. And so what I wanted to say is, uh, as well as thank our colleagues that came from all over the world here as well for our, our global meeting. If you could stand up. Overseas group, we've got uh, South Africa here as well too. U.S. as well, everybody from the management team there. Yeah. We have in total five continents represented. Um, and the guy that came in the longest uh, was uh, David Risk from South Africa. He, he came 8,372 miles to be here today. So you win the grand prize. <laughs> But of course, the people who make this the most possible for all, including our employees, are our customers. So I'd like to thank our customers very much today for supporting us, sticking with our product, and we do whatever we can to do for you. Thank you. And lastly, the people who put this organization together, they did a fantastic job. Could you give them a round of applause? We've got Dan Paradis, he coordinated the event with the group together. He was the fearless leader. Eric Lee, he made sure everything worked. We had Janice Stevens, who without it, we wouldn't have any green plants out here today. So if you guys could stand up as we're talking, that'd be great. Janice, where are you hiding? There she is, okay. Um, I'd like to thank our HR team, uh, Chriselda, Susan, Nancy. They got everything we put there. And then we've got the team that did the heavy lifting, of course. Um, Aubrey and Kristen, they're our interns. They were working very hard with us. And Dan Bernatzoli. Dan, could you come on in? And Dan, thanks for putting the whole show together. Okay. So now um, we'll go in, we're going to go to the uh, ribbon cutting here right afterwards, do a quick photo op, and then we've got plenty of good food for you behind, the, behind us. Um, those of you that have registered on your name tag, there's a gift bag waiting for you when you leave today out in the back behind. So on your way out, don't forget to pick it up. And. I can just say thank you very much for coming, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day, and uh, thank you, South Carolina. Thank you, TDC.